Today I'm going to do a poem which half of this room's probably heard before. But none of you have ever heard it before me. Because trust me, no one's ever done it before me. And another poet sitting shotgun right beside me. Now everybody that's in the scene that I'm seeing is saying names. While me and the sim, we trailblaze. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because of this, I'm waking up to see my own face in the papes. Like, wow, makes up for all those stale days. What I'm saying is, <coughs> what I'm saying is, this might not be hot, definitely won't be cold, but it might be something of a Lukey warm story. But either way, today is still a special kind of day. One where I could drink a whole bottle of champagne and even <laughs> chief a K. <laughs> but see, I've figured that I've always got so much to say. See, this stage, I could get it all popping, just like a microwave. And it would be nice if I could write, you know, a page a day. See, if I was in a pack of cards, I'm pretty sure that I could make it to the ace of spades. But then it's only at times when I feel I can get into this creative space. But right now, I feel like I'm getting back into my focus. As if I was getting into one of my old cars at home from back in the days. And I'm definitely finding new worlds again. And I'm doing this on my solo, man's feeling sturdy. I'll wake up and start this jar merely early. You see, my pen game certified. I've got two times five lines plus another two. Then I've got a whole next bunch, which I know will be coming through. <laughs> see, it's getting to that point now where everyone's starting to know that I'm a writer. Imagine Christmas was gone. Even my father had bought me a parka. But I should really be using my bro Ken's pen to tell this story. Because I want you to all listen and take shaheed to these words that I am breathing. See, when I speak my ABCs, I had my boy Thieve ask me to pull it up and repeat the beat on that poetry. It's like I'll step into a flow's vortex. The more that I do, it must be poetry. See, I feel I've got a natural right, you know, to pick up a pen, pad and write and big up these people along the ride that I've met on these open mics. You see, I don't toy around. I love the way that Toya Wright makes it sound when she's writing it down. That's true poetry emotion. Because, yo, those words are smooth, just like a locomotive. Could even slow it down. Let's make it potent, like those profound angles from Aaron Daniels. And Fisky, sick like the flu, can sure show and prove that it's mind over matter. Some guy yesterday had told me about Cam Batter in his DMT dialogue, and I had to go and check it out. I guess we've all got a reason on what we're writing for. And without any intention, our secrets get transferred to the stage. See, when a pen bleeds, it secretes this healing aid that touches everything it touches by the time it reaches the page. And then it reaches the stage. So by the time it gets here and it's laid down, it's something to hold us both up. You know, sort of like a double-sided sticky tape. So no more days of flirting with a risky fate. See, I'm not trying to do things when it's too late. Life's too short, you get once, never two takes. And trust me, I've been through a pain that's way worse than a toothache. And for that, yeah, I can throw up a finger to them fakes. Forget their two faces. And we could never vibrate because their thoughts are too basic. All I'm saying is, just another living corpse in a matrix. But that's just how the system's made it. Can't blame them. And that's why my mind stays fixed, maintaining. Still stating and painting, annotate, art gallery spraying as I'm laying down these terms in layman's with just a little kick. You know, like them little kids just learning how to tie up his laces. You see, when this mister reads, it could sometimes seem like a mystery or be a missed story. And I know it can get political. And I can show you, because I could give a demo that's liberal when I lay bars or even if it's just Tory. See, they know my flames may go from Spain to Diego. I'm a burning poet. My whole MO is so fuego. See, once that fire starts, I'll turn into a lion heart, a straight marv, for you to BBC or even hear on your radio. It's really quite something to get a knacker, putting words together, birds of a feather. It may seem random, but Darren knows they're well-versed, so whatever. And if you still don't know what time it is, you can go to the city, just by the bridge, and check out Big Benner. Right by those buildings with them white-collar villains and Big Fetter, and that's a whole lot of cheddar. Whilst on the flip side, you might not have enough money to get yourself a new outfit. But you see, I've never been one to turn a molehill into a mountain. What I'm saying is, there's no need to cariah about it. You just have to be rags. See, sometimes you can gain right after a loss. Yo, people, I'll let you all do the math. Thank you. Thank you.